Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chovetz Chaim. And he says like this, the Ato Naschil Levai Be'ez Hashem, and now with Hashem's help, we will begin to explain Din Kabbalas Lashon Hara, the Halacha about accepting the words of Lashon Hara that a person hears in the following three cases. Number one, Me'ish Shehu Mehem in If you heard Lashon Hara, from a very trust, trustworthy individual that has nemanis, that has believability, like two people that are testifying. We'll have to see what the category of that is going to be. Or you heard Lashon Hara from a person who was speaking in a casual manner, which means he was telling you over a story, or you were schmoozing about different things, and in the course of the conversation, not even with his awareness of what he was saying, he happened to mention some details about a person in passing that is construed as Lashon Hara. However, since that he didn't mean to speak the words of Lashon Hara, he's just telling you what happened over there. He's Masih Lafitumo, just casually conversing with you and telling you what he had to say. And he didn't have any intent at all to disparage the person he's talking about that might be in that case something that is believable and therefore perhaps accepting the words of Lashon Hara would be okay. Although since we don't explain yet in the, in the, in the Chavetz Chaim, we can't say that yet. Or if someone's telling you a story about somebody and it's Lashon Hara, they're saying something derogatory about him, but based on your previous interactions with this person or your knowledge with the person that is being spoken about, you could recognize that in the story that's being told to you it's true, there's a lot of truth to what is being said and therefore you wouldn't put it past the teller over of this story that what they're saying is true so then maybe you might be able to accept those words as Lashon Hara as well let's see Now even though that in these three cases that we just listed over here Number one, that you heard it from a person that's reliable like two. Number two, that a person told over the words, Masih Tuma casually happened to mention them. And number three, you yourself recognize the things about the person that the Lashon has been spoken about, that most likely it's true. Says the Chavetz Chaim, even though these three halachas are very similar in what the outcome is going to be, Afa Pikein, Nevertheless, I separated them. Because each one has their own details that make them different than the other. Each one then has a little bit of a different halacha than the other one. And also says the Chavaz Chaim Shalom, I don't want the eyes of the reader to become confused over here. The numerous consequences that will emerge from each one of these three categories. So, therefore, I broke them up so you'll be able to see things clearly. says the Chavetz Chaim, let me begin now. With the help of HaKadosh Baruch, who grants wisdom to man, which means the Chavetz Chaim seems to feel that it's very detailed and technical over here, these three things. And he's asking HaKadosh Baruch for a little extra Siyata de Shemaya help to make sure that he understands things clearly and gives them over in the right way to call Yisrael, which he has been doing for a hundred years already. Have a wonderful day.